Welcome back to my channel Tech Behind Food. In this video, we are going to discuss about vinegar production. So, the vinegar is the liquid obtained by alcoholic and acetic acid fermentation of suitable material containing sugar and starch. So it contains about 5% acetic acid and has germicidal and antiseptic properties. Next is type of vinegar. Two types are there, brewed vinegar and artificial vinegar. So the brewed vinegar is that is made from various fruits, starchy material and sugar containing substances by alcoholic and subsequent acetic fermentation while the artificial vinegar is prepared by diluting the synthetic acetic acid to a legal standards of 4% are and are colored with caramel. It is also called synthetic vinegar or non brewed vinegar. Now steps involved in the vinegar production. First is the conversion of sugar in fruits into alcohol by the yeast that is alcoholic fermentation is there. And the second process or second step is conversion of alcohol into vinegar by acetic acid bacteria that is acetification. So the most efficient yeast is the Saccharomyces elipsoides, S. mellii and S. cerevisiae. So glucose or fructose is converted into ethyl alcohol by the yeast in anaerobic conditions. And then this alcohol is converted into the acetic acid by the acetic acid bacteria. So two processes are there. First is the conversion of sugar into the alcohol and then that alcohol or wine is again used for the vinegar production. Next is the preparation of vinegar. So vinegar is prepared by three processes. First is the slow process. Second is Aurelian slow process. And third is the quick process or German or generator process. First is the slow process. This process is generally used in India. The fruit juice or sugar solution is filled in the earthen pots or wooden barrels and kept for at least five to six months in a warm, damp room to undergo alcoholic and acetic acid fermentation. So quality is inferior and uh, yield is also low. Next is Aurelian slow process. So the vinegar prepared by this process is clear and of superior quality. The steps of this process are selection of fruits. So grapes, apples, oranges, mangoes, etc. having 10% sugar in the juice is taken. Next is extraction of juice. The fruits or vegetable are cut into small pieces and then crushed or pressed through a thick muslin cloth. Second process is the adjustment of sugar. So only uh, juice containing low percentage of sugar is suitable for growth of yeast. The concentration of sugar is determined by the uh, hand refractometer and it is adjusted to the 10% either by diluting the juice with water if sugar content is high or by adding additional sugar. Next is the fermentation. The juice is heated to destroy the microorganism and then it is filled in the earthen pots or wooden barrels. So two important steps are there, alcoholic fermentation and the vinegar fermentation that I had discussed earlier. Next is the aging. So vinegar is prepared by this method is turbid and does not possess a good taste. So it is stored in the container for four to eight months during which the vinegar develops a good aroma and flavor. Next is the clarification and coloring. So coloring, uh, caramel color is added for coloring and the clear aged liquid should be filtered out for clarification. After that, Next is the pasteurization, which is very important. So the vinegar is poured into the previously sterilized bottles or airtight uh, bottles and uh, it is processed into 71 to 77 degrees C for 15 to 20 minutes and the vinegar is produced. Now move on to the quick process generator or German process. So in this process, additional oxygen is required for the growth of bacteria. And the surface of bacterial culture is also increased resulting in the rapid fermentation. The equipment used is known as upright generator. So it is also called generator process 
Height of this cylinder is 3.66 to 4.2 meter and diameter is 1.2 to 1.5 meter which is divided into three compartments. So this is the three compartment. First is the distributing compartment and another is a central compartment and third is the receiving compartment. So I have created a diagram for quick process. Hope it helps. So first is the distributing compartment. So this is the upper compartment and is of 30 cm above the central one. So it is having a W shaped tilting troughs or revolving sprinkles which distribute the liquid by trickling slowly over the material filled in the central department. So this is the central department and then comes the receiving department. So in the central compartment, beech wood shavings are used to increase the surface area. Uh, beech wood shavings are preferred as they remain tightly coiled even when wet with vinegar. This compartment is fitted with an adjustable opening near the bottom for the admission of air. Third is the receiving compartment which is the lowest compartment of the generator and is separated from the central one by perforated partitions. So here the vinegar is collected. Now what happens in this process, the material in the central compartment is sprinkled and wetted with unpasteurized vinegar that contain acetic bacteria. Now this alcoholic ferment, now alcoholic fermentation product that is wine is poured slowly by this trickling trough to the generator to promote the growth of vinegar bacteria. Within a few days, the vinegar produced is efficient for the functioning of the generator. So this is all about vinegar production and if you have any query you can comment me in the comment box and do follow on Instagram at the tech behind food. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.